What is Simpson's paradox? Simply put, this is when the combined results of two or more tables give us very different results. The combined table is called an aggregated table. This paradox doesn't happen often, but when it does, it leads us to conclusions that are contradictory to the conclusions we would make by looking at the original unaggregated data. Sometimes when we aggregate data, we see relationships or trends that we didn't see in the original data. The reverse is true as well. Sometimes we see relationships in the unaggregated data that we don't see with the aggregated information. What that means for us is that when we see patterns or trends in data, we need to realize that these trends may not hold true when we look at the data from a different perspective. This is what's called Simpson's paradox. Let's look at an example of Simpson's paradox. A good example of Simpson's paradox involves the batting averages of players in professional baseball. It's possible for one player to have a higher batting average than another player during a given year, and again in the following year, but to have a lower batting average when the two years are combined. In this cross-tabulation table, we can see the unaggregated data on the left for Derek Jeter and for David Justice. In both 1995 and 1996, David Justice had a higher batting average than Derek Jeter. In 1995, his batting average was 0.253, compared with Derek Jeter's 0.250. And in 1996, David Justice had a batting average of 0.321, compared with Derek Jeter's 0.314. So in both years, we can see David Justice had a higher batting average. Now suppose we aggregate or combine the data from the two years and compile a batting average for the two years together. When we do that, you can see the combined column shows Derek Jeter's batting average as higher than David Justice's, 0.31 compared with 0.27. This is a great example of when data is looked at one way broken down, and then the very same data is looked at in a combined or aggregated way, and the results are completely different. Why does this happen? Well, the answer is different for different situations. So you have to look at the original data more closely to understand why this happened. In this case, it looks like there's a big difference between the years in the at-bats. Derek Jeter had only 48 at-bats in his rookie year and 582 at-bats in the following year. That's a huge difference. David Justice also had a large difference in his at-bats between 1995 and 1996. So when the data is looked at year by year, David Justice comes out on top. But when the data is combined, then we get a different result. This phenomenon is called Simpson's paradox. So why is this important? Well, this doesn't happen often, but when it does, we have to realize that sometimes we see patterns or trends that don't hold true when we look at the original data. And if it doesn't look true, it probably isn't. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Simpson's paradox.